Something really weird happened to me last night during an offline match, and I felt I need to share it as a warning not to attempt this. With the recently added Dust2 boss in the unannounced patch from last month, I figured I would practice getting him to spawn in an offline match, since it appears that they removed the method that caused him to insta-spawn in the tunnels when he used the Zeus and the door and pit due to the memory issues up here. So I load up an offline server with bots on D underscore Dust2, then proceed to kick all the bots so that I can safely practice running around and killing all the chickens within the time limit. Finally, about two hours later, I manage to summon the boss. I've already got my config set up so that only headshots do damage. Since the Dust2 boss spawns with dual knives and can't get a knife headshot and go, it pretty much makes him completely harmless since he won't be able to kill you and take your weapons. After the boss loading screen appears to let me know that he has spawned, I check the A bomb site. I was right outside the pit when he spawned, no dice, so obviously he's going to be waiting for me at B. I creep along Cap trying to listen for his growling noises as he does when he's lying in wait for you. In this thread, Valve needs to remove it, it's too easy to know where he's at. Sneak through tunnels and just as a peak platform, the boss loading screen appears yet again. It gets stuck on 4 seconds and I cannot continue. Also, instead of Dust 2, it's an Inferno for some reason. I figured it was a bug. I was heartbroken at this point and closed out a CSGO after wasting two hours trying to make him appear. After work, I decided to get on some matchmaking with my friends. Upon loading Counter Strike Global Offensive, I was immediately faced back into the match. I had quit right at the edge of the tunnels where you can peek platform. Admittedly, I was confused, but pretty hopeful that somehow the boss would still be waiting for me in B-side. So I turn my sound to the max so I can hear the growling, and I just hear whispering. At first I couldn't make it out, but it seemed to be originating from inside the site, so I rush in scared as hell and curious of what is going on. No boss, and on top of that, the doors were closed, leading to me. And the boxes were removed from sight, so I couldn't reach window. I decide to pinpoint exactly where these whispers were coming from by using the direction of the sound with my headphones and eventually I found the exact spot it was coming from. Standing on the spot, I could hear what the whispers were saying. You will never leave. It was being repeated over and over by different voices and eerie tones. I'm properly freaked out at this point and decide to exit the game. I press escape, but nothing happens. The menu doesn't pop up. I start spamming the keys on my keyboard, including F10, but nothing seems to work. I can't even pull up the console or, arc or alt tab out. I know the keyboard works because everything else functions fine. I just cannot seem to load up the menu or find a way to exit. And all the while, the voices are getting louder and are now following me wherever I try to go on the map, getting louder and louder. And to make things worse, at the end of connector from B-side to tunnels is another identical B-side. And I can even see myself standing in the doorway of the other side, covered in blood, with a knife in each hand, just standing there, looking directly at me wherever I go. At this point, I pretty much piss myself and decide to do a hard reset to my computer. Now, every time I try to load up CSGO, I get a runtime error saying, Steam's terminated itself in an unusual way. And this creep bass is a pretty decent setup, but didn't really scare me any way, shape, or form. Did make you feel a bit creeped out, though. Now, I don't really have anything to add on that, you know, don't add the blood to the story, because it kind of takes away from it. But there wasn't a lot of blood, it's just, you know, his character was covered in blood. So, it's fine, I guess. Um, the way he actually utilized the whispering was quite sound. That was a pun intended. And it did actually add to the creepiness factor of the story. Now, overall, I thought it was a pretty good creep buster, especially for one from the robot side, but I do think he could improve a few things.